So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down just outside of Chiang Mai city. So I've just stopped off at their PT station. Our little friend now, the gas station, filling up Lucille and we're heading off to Mon Jam today on a, on a day out. And yeah, the city's doing my head in, man. The city is doing my head in at the minute. It takes, it took nearly an hour to get out of that city today. It's just traffic lights and traffic everywhere so yeah i'm finding myself more and more wanting to head to the mountains and first we're going to head to a place that i've had on my list for a while i'm not going to tell you now we're going to get there have a look around and then we're going to head into the monjam village and have a look around there just have a moochie around today so i've just stopped off at this place groove yard i've been past there before and i just wanted to show you it it's just a cool it's a cool spot. What are we? So we've just turned off on the Mon Jam Road. So not very far. We've only been on the road. It's probably took about an hour because of all the traffic lights and all the traffic. I've come past there a couple times. So it looks like they got three, three bungalows. See, would it be the worst place in the world to stay, would it? I'd say they're quite nice inside nice area nice garden nice bit of a lake there going on if i wasn't going somewhere else maybe i would go and ask for a look around but maybe that's a future vlog eh so we got minivans everywhere nowadays guys there's minivans flying everywhere see i'm gonna go down here that's my sort of road mountain road taking it easy but you've always got to have your wits about you right then so the next stop of the day is the May Sa waterfall. I wasn't coming here, I just passed it on where I was going. And yeah, I've heard a lot about this place and I couldn't go past without checking out the May Sa waterfall. It's quite empty, man. There's nobody here. I can just see a friend coming in now on a scooter. But other from that, guys, it is it's pretty dead here. Right, so this young lady has just informed me that the waterfall's up here and got to park up there so yeah can I get on a bike again right so the waterfall is up here I must have took the wrong road yeah I should have come down that one but yeah I don't think it was very well signposted ah looks nice already though it's nice, that's just the bottom of it. Nice cool breeze here as well. Right, so how far up is it? Ah, it's back there. So I'm just following these frangs here. Without them, I would have carried on up. That's nice, isn't it? Just to get out of the city again. I'm not sure how far of a walk up it is, but I could do with a walk anyway. So this place is 120 baht for a franc. 100, 100 baht entry and 20 baht for the motorcycle. I think it might be a little bit more if you bring a car here. And yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit more. Hello. Let's just see where we're going here. Right, so it looks like it's a bit of a walk. A little bit of a walk, but that's all good, man. Yeah, it's just so good to get out of the city again. I can't wait to go on another long trip. Yep, it's a bit of a walk. But it's a cool walk because you're near a waterfall as well. It's nice and cool here. 
So I'm taking it, Cascades is like the rapids. There's loads of, loads of sections of Cascades. One to three. And then I've seen a sign of like five to eight. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. How's about this then? How's about that then? So we've got people here playing in it. Ah, this is nice. Yeah. This ain't even the main waterfall. Ah, oh, that breeze coming off of there. Ah. Oh. When you live here, you search for that breeze, man. You search for that breeze any way you can. I'm from the beach back in England. And although I say I don't miss don't miss the water. It's always nice being around water, isn't it? I mean, this is loud, man. This sensitive mic is probably picking this up big time. Wow, love it. I was going to bypass it, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I stopped in here. Bobby Dazzler. Maysal Waterfall is located in the May Rim Subdistrict. May Ram Subdistrict. May Rim District. Chiang Mai Province. Part of the Doi Su Tet National Park. It is a significant place for recreation and indeed famous place for both Thai and foreigner tourists. This waterfall has 10 beautiful cascades with around 1,500 meters. Let's do this because I got a few more places to go after this. <laughs> feel that breeze, feel that power. To feel that power hitting me in the face. Oh man, that mist is so nice. That is strong, isn't it? If you ended up in that, you'd be in the washing machine. Oh, that is so nice. You just feel it hit me. <laughs> it's like misty, a misty morning back in the UK. With the cloud cover as well, just makes it a perfect day. <laughs> right, so this is the next one. got a feeling this might be the top right and ah, now it goes up even more I was gonna say I thought it was really high at the top proper like waterfall these ladies are going up as well, well I think there's one more the main the main waterfall You are the conqueror of the May Sa Waterfall, Doi Su Tet Poi National Park. I made it! This is the top. And there it is. So yeah, it was totally not the waterfall that I was thinking about. I thought it was the like the massive one with a big drop of water. But it's still nice, isn't it? It's a nice place. Remember at the bottom when I said, ah, it's a nice easy walk? <laughs> I lied. I'm sweating. I'm an absolute mess. It's quite a walk up. It's nothing like walking up Doi Su Tep or anything, but it's a bit of a hike, humid. So, oh, yeah, I made it. I had to do it, didn't I? Because I met some people coming up and they, they said they didn't go to the top. And, yeah, I'm not paying 120 baht and not going to the top. Doing a vlog, man. I had to come up here. Yeah, this guy's going in by the looks of it. I have heard some stories about jumping in these waterfalls. I don't know how true it is about something in the water or... Right, so I'm not going to film them anymore while they're taking off their clothes. So, yeah, completed it, mate. Mesa Waterfall, completed it. Worth 120 baht. Yeah, definitely worth it. It's a good day out. If you come in a Mon Jam or having a look around this area. Whew. 
<laughs> man, man, I got lost on the way out. I took the wrong turn in. And yeah, I panicked, couldn't find Lucille. And yeah, the, the main car park's up here and I parked in this little bit here. And I was like an headless chicken running around trying to find somebody that I could ask and tell them where I parked. <laughs> and then I forgot what way I come in. So yeah, it took me about an half hour to get out and I am dripping, but it was, it was a cool waterfall. It was nothing special. So now we're heading into Monjam village and we're going to get a nice green tea, have a look around and yeah, take it from there, man. Oh, I need cooling down. Right, so touch down from Mon Cham. This picturesque little village on the top of the mountain. I've been here twice before, but I've not been here for a long time. And I forgot how, how high the road was actually. It's a high road. Hello, sweaty cab. So I'll just show you what's going on here. Selling lots of stuff, look. Lots of stuff going on. So where we're heading, we've we got to walk up from here and find this coffee shop where we're going to sit and have a nice green tea. Ah, so it's not as mad as when I was here last time, that's for sure. It was crazy busy when I was here before. Just see what the prices are up here. Passion fruit, 50 baht a kilo. Got the oranges. Swaddy cap. Ah yeah, oranges. Potato, sweet potato is it? Uh, avocado. Yeah, avocado I think. Ah, that's some nice fruit up here. Right, so we're walking up to the coffee shop and I'm going to need a map. So I don't know what one it was. Hello. <laughs> right, so let's do this. Lucy was chugging up here, man. It is a steep hill. And it felt like it was never ending as well. But yeah, I'm glad I'm here, man. It's been a good day out. Went to the waterfall, come to Mon Jam. Have a look at the market. So I stopped for a well and ice green tea, guys. And yeah, I have been here before. We've got a guy singing lit. And we've got the amazing views. We're gonna have a look around in a minute. I came here about two years ago and it was a lot more busy and yeah look at them views it's a shame that the sun's not out really and it's a bit dark on the camera ah so it's nice just to get to the top and have a green tea that um, waterfall took it right out of me and I forgot to say no sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come up here one night and stay in one of these places and do a vlog about that. So after we're gonna walk down here and you can see the amazing view right over the mountain. Just show you out here a minute. In this place here, last time I came here, I had a drink in this place. Just want to show you this. This is another level. <laughs> and you can walk down there, I think you've got to pay 20 baht. There used to be a lady on the gate here, yep, she's still there. 
and you can walk down and there's a place where you can have a selfie so I have a video where I'm standing right here on my channel so I think that was when I first started my vlogs I'm sat down here and I forget who I was here with thank you so yeah I came down here it's one of my first ever vlogs not sure what this is strawberries yeah I think they're doing strawberries or something yeah but I was about that And I think the other side is 20 baht as well. So really, you only need to do one side. And you can pick strawberries down there. Yeah, and the view is just incredible. So this place brings back a lot of memories. I'm gonna have to go back and see what number vlog that I did here. I know it was one of the early ones. Mon Cham. See, that's how it's really pronounced, I think, with the C C H A M. They're over there on the hill. I remember during COVID, they were cheap, man. You could stay there for like three or four hundred baht. I think they're like a thousand, two thousand baht now. But yeah, that would be a cool vlog, right? Waking up with the mist looking out over then coming over here for a coffee it's gonna have to be done one day so down here they do go-kart racing I remember this look there's another one coming down now so yeah be good to have a look at this I remember this they come down on some clapped out go-karts like this guy here <laughs> brilliant yeah gotta have a watch of this in fact they're not bad actually probably better than Lucille Swaddy Cap how are you ah Sima it's okay I have yeah, so look at these go-karts, man. <laughs> oh, anybody can have a go. I don't think I'll be doing that, do you? So we'll just see, see this guy come down a minute. <laughs> this guy taking it easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> you wanted me to go down in that go kart, didn't you? It would have made a good vlog. Strap the GoPro on, head down, but getting an ambulance up the Monja. <laughs> Be a bit of a bit of a nightmare, I reckon. Look, they sell everything here. Hundred baht for strawberries. Two pound fifty. It's not mm, eighty back there. It's not too bad, I suppose. I forget what they are in England. I know strawberry ain't the cheapest in the world. Yes, it's the perfect day to come here. It's nice and relaxed. Not too many people. 
everybody smiling, laughing. See, so what sort of same stuff is down in the Sunday market, really? I can't see much different. I suppose it all comes from up here. I mean, wonder what it's like living in Monjam. It'd definitely be a chilled life, wouldn't it? Right, so I'm gonna go down a bit further now, guys, and there's a coffee shop on the way up that I'm gonna go down and check out. And yes, yeah, see a bit more views, because this place is just full of views all around. So I'm gonna head back down slowly, check out this other coffee shop, sit there, maybe get another green tea, because you're a long time home in Chiang Mai, so there's no rush to get home. Right, so I'm gonna show you a bit of the, bit of the road on the way down. The old chesty on. The wind's probably picking it up, but we'll put a bit of music to it. So on the way back down, I've stopped at this orange garden that I found on the map and that somebody recommended to me a long, long time ago. So I thought I'd stop here and the view here is probably better than what it is at the top. So obviously they grow oranges here. You've got a nice restaurant, lovely view. Just wanted to show you this here. Look at that, look at that. So there's the oranges down there. There's a better view up there. So I'm gonna go back up there and show you from there. This is not even the bit where I'm getting my drink. This is a different business. And this is the views from the Orange Farm Cafe. Absolute Bobby Dazzler. Good prices, 50 baht, 65 baht. Good deal. So I think they they charge you to go down in the field. I think you have to get a ticket if you wanted to go down and look at the oranges. But we're not gonna do that. So 75 baht here, this one's a little bit better than the one I had at the top. She ain't put no sugar in this one, so this one's a lot nicer. And I think the views are nicer here as well. You can get food here. You can get your chicken and rice or your pork. I've seen pad thai as well on the menu. So it's been a really good day. Really enjoyed coming to Mon Jam. I can tick this one off now for the road trip outside of Chiang Mai the day trips there's a few more I'm gonna do then we're gonna get to Chiang Rai at some point so it's about 4 p.m. now and I've been here all afternoon and yeah I've not judged it right I'm gonna hit Chiang Mai right on rush hour on a Friday evening which is gonna be a nightmare but yeah I just didn't want to leave here look at it so guys i'm gonna call that a day from the orange farm in mon jam i've had a really good day and yes yeah, knocking on till 5 pm now so i better get back google Maps said it's gonna take about an hour hour and 15 minutes and it's nice and cool up here and it's cleared my head up here as well man so it's been a great day we're gonna go on another day trip soon guys and yeah i got a few more plans so i'm gonna stop waffling i'm gonna get home i'm gonna put a chesty on the way back to show you a bit of show you the bit of the um bit of the road on the way back see the vlog out in style away and just 
head back to Chiang Mai. It's Friday night as well, so it's gonna be it's gonna be gridlock when I hit town. I'm gonna stop waffling, I'm gonna get on Lucille and head back into town. So hope you're all safe and sound as always, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, man. Take it easy.